So you guys just get done with practice? Well, we just we, we're going to do practice later uh, this evening. But we we've been meeting and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so what what was your take on how you guys did in the scrimmage last week? Uh, you know, we uh, we did some good things, and you know, there was a lot of things we needed to clean up from the first scrimmage. You know, it's to be honest with you, about what I expect from the first scrimmage. Uh, live situations, uh, guys are tackling. And you know the the strain in the scrimmage is different from the strain the strain in the scrim, uh, simulated section of practice is different. So you know there's some things that we had to improve upon uh, with our strain to finish, and you know being able to communicate when we get gassed a little bit. So that showed up. But guys have done a good job this week uh, addressing some of the, the challenges that we faced on Saturday. So hopefully this Saturday we'll be able to put those to bed and get better from that. I was going to say, I know you guys love going up against the O-line in that kind of setting. What did they learn about themselves and what they need to improve on? Well, I think they learned when they uh, when we play with technique and execute the call, we're going to be pretty tough. Uh, you know, uh, we, we can stop the run when we play like that, but when we get tired and, you know, we get a little lackadaisical, you know, that's when you give up plays, you know. So we're learning to play hard. A longer, you know, Coach Rhodes says all the time, you got to carry your pads, and uh, we're learning how to carry our pads right now in camp, which is which is big. I know Sosa brings a lot of talent, brings a lot of attitude too. I know he's got kind of a little bit of a mentality of sometimes getting into it a little bit. But do you like that fierceness that you see from him? A- absolutely. I mean, you you want your guys to be fierce competitors and show no back down to no one and play with a lot of lot of fire and, and heart and desire and. You know, I think the guys feed off of that, but at the same time, when you're when you're that way too, you got to make sure that you're that way all the time. It's just not, you know, certain situations. That's how you are all the time, and you know, I think that's the mentality and the mantra that I want the defensive line to play with is that aggressive mentality. You know, we say savage hog mentality, and that's that's what we want to be. That's what we're all striving for. Get taps. Getting some first team reps in there with Bijan, kind of. How do you see those, those two guys as, as a as a tandem in those guards? You know what? I kind of see them as you know two and one. You know, we're, we're going to need both of those guys to uh, get through the game, and, and and the other guy that's coming on uh, and doing a good job is Dylan Hayes. So, you know, I, I said once I got here, one of the things I want to be able to do is roll guys. So if I've got a, a rotation of two, three guys there, I think the, the Hogs are going to be better because of it. You will stay fresher. We'll be able to, you know, maintain a lot longer. So that, that's what we're looking for.